Welcome back, my fellow pickleballers. It's Lloyd here from the Pickleball Store, and today we're taking a look at a paddle. So when you're first starting out in pickleball, you tend to avoid the really, really pricey paddles, but you're often looking for an affordable, high quality performance paddle. Well, this paddle might just be the option for you. The R1.16 by Rhombus, and here's why. So if you've not heard of Rhombus before, they make some game-changing paddles. They've been going for over a year now, and they really, really made a dent on the pickleball scene through the likes of the brand new Nova. It's patent-pending carbon grid technology, and there's a reason why. I'm gonna cover it in a few other videos. I've got a video on the R3 coming out very, very shortly. So if you're interested in that paddle, definitely take a look. But on today's video, we're taking a look at their really affordable, but very well built performance entry paddle, the R1.16. A fantastic choice for those looking for a performance paddle within a price range of under 120 pounds. So the R1.16 is a control paddle. It's got the 16 millimeter core, so perfect for resets and dinks. It's a paddle that excels in the soft game, but also has enough power to drive the ball and speed up whilst you're at the net. This paddle is a really nice control paddle. It's essentially a Gen 1 carbon fiber paddle. Gen 1 being spearheaded by the likes of Carbon and Electrum. They've been around for quite a while now, and there's a reason behind that. It's purely because and the amount of control, the amount of touch, and also the reliability and durability of these paddles. Gen 2 is all around carbon thermoforming, so having a carbon strip that seals the edges. And then Gen 3 is seen for the likes of the brand new Nova by Rhombus, one of the first, if not the first, Gen 3 carbon fiber paddle on the market. Definitely take a look at that if you want next generation pickable paddles. But if you're starting out, you're on a budget and you want a really good control paddle that will stand the test of time, definitely look at the R1.16. Without further ado, let's dive into the paddle specifications of the Rhombus R1.16 or 1.6, depending on however you like to say it. So the Rhombus R1.16 comes in a weight range of between 7.7 .7 to 8.1 ounces, so it's within that mid-weight paddle range. Most of the Rhombus paddles, particularly in the R1 shape, tend to be around that 7.7 .7 to 8.1 ounce um, weight range. So a really nice paddle, it doesn't feel too heavy. So the length of the paddle is 16.5 inches, the width of the paddle is 7.5 inches, the grip length on this paddle is 5.5 inches. All of Rhombus's paddles are 5.5 inches, so if you use two hands on the backhand, a really, really nice handle length. I think most paddles these days, particularly for those transitioning from tennis or any other racket sports, you will be looking for a minimum of around 5.35 inches. So 5.5 is perfect for those sort of players. The grip circumference is 4.25 inches and it's an octagon handle. I do really like these handles. They, they fit really nicely in my hands. They, the, with the lever grip, it's really nice. The swing weight itself is 115. The paddle's face is a Raw Torre T700 carbon fiber. As I've mentioned in previous videos, T700 carbon fiber being the choice for many paddle brands out there purely because of the spin it generates alongside a really nice level of control and power. They describe the paddle shape as hybrid. It's very similar to the Yola Hyperion style shape. It's got its own kind of flair on it. It, it is very nice. It looks really nice, it looks stealth. It's in their stealth black color, which yeah, it looks really cool. As for the core, it's 16 millimeters, so typical of your kind of control paddle. And then on top of that, it uses a polypropylene honeycomb. So typical of many pickleball paddles out there. Most pickleball paddles on the market you'll see will use a polypropylene honeycomb purely because of the amount of control you get with something like that as compared to a, a Nomex core. So for all of you moving to edgeless design, this one actually does have an edge guard, which is great for players like myself that tend to hit the wall more than they do the ball. Um, so it's a nice, 
I mean, whoever likes, whoever to decided to take edge guards of paddles just to make them swing quicker. I understand it. I don't like it, but there you go. And of course, the paddle is USA pickleball approved, so you can use it in competitions all over the world. Perfect. What sort of player does this paddle suit? So if you use the previous CFS Yola Hyperion, this paddle feels very similar. It's a very nice paddle to use. The sweet spot is a little bit smaller. However, it's a great choice and a fraction of what the cost of the Yola Hyperion is at under £120. So a really nice price point, a very affordable paddle for those looking for a performance yet affordable paddle. And if you want to know more about Rhombus, they've got a ton of information online. The CEO of Rhombus really does know his stuff when it comes to creating pickable paddles. He's an engineer by trade and they've made some unbelievably smart tech paddles like the brand new Nova, which combines the carbon edge grid technology. So check that out if you want something the next tier above. So your first Gen 3 Fermo formed or Gen 3 carbon fiber paddle. So take a look at the Nova, but if you're in the market for a new paddle, potentially your first performance paddle, take a look at the Rhombus R1.16 or 1.6. And that is the Rhombus R1.16 or 16. How would you say it?